Okay, so this is a project I've been working on lately. This is a homemade regenerative receiver that can provide speaker level volume built using the homemade triodes I've been making. Now the, the camera doesn't like these because they're bright, but that one is acting as the actual regenerative receiver. That's acting as an audio amplifier. And then that one is acting as an audio output tube. So, if I turn on the filament for this audio output tube, it should start working. On this Thursday, 10th day of September 2020, Mark Davison for Dennis, he will be back tomorrow to finish up your week. And then after Dennis's show is done, and then you get Dr. Gorka, the shows that, uh, that, that unfold afterward on the...
Okay, so it it actually works a lot better than I was hoping for. Uh, it picks up a bunch of stations. It's just that they aren't very loud because uh, these tubes don't have very much gain. Uh, that that doesn't stop this one though because it has a regeneration, so it can have a whole whole bunch more gain than the tube actually natively has. So let's take a look at the schematic. It is just a typical regenerative receiver in the front end. Tank coil, tuning capacitor, antenna coupling, and then there's a 4.7 meg grid leak resistor and then a 150 picofarad coupling capacitor. And then here's the feedback coil that makes this magical. Uh, I have chokes in the plate circuit of these two tubes because I found it increases the audio level. Here's the regeneration control. I actually just have this maxed out and I'm using the filament filament voltage to control the regeneration. And then it just couples off there into the first audio amp stage. Uh, this is just basically a voltage amplifier. I have potentiometers everywhere to just try to find the sweet spot that these tubes want to operate at. And then that couples into the audio output tube. An uh, audio output transformer. Uh, these tubes draw too much current to be run in parallel from the supplies I have, so I'm just running them in series. I have these two in series being run off of the tube tester. And then I have the audio output tube uh, run off of a battery because uh, the tube tester doesn't uh, output a high enough voltage to run three in series. So that's just run off of this lithium cell pack. I'm also able to use the voltage dropped across the filaments to bias the tubes. So uh, the voltage dropped across this filament is, you know, the potential of this cathode, and you can use that to bias the tubes. What else? Oh, I had this working for a while just at headphone level volume, but I just had a lot of trouble getting the proper amount of audio gain out to drive a speaker because these tubes are low gain and low power, so it's hard to really do anything with them. So I think that's pretty much it. I haven't decided yet whether if I'm going to take this apart or build this into an actual project because I want to use these tubes for other stuff, but I might put this all together. So I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.